and welcome to a new video. So today we're tagging some of the calves. We had bad weather a few days ago. We had some snow and within that period we had about eight cows, calves. So um, it was quite a lot to keep up with and it was quite hard to tell whose calf was who because they'd all planted them. So we brought them in today. We'll tag the calves and then there's also a few of the mums that have lost a tag that we need to do as well. So yeah, enjoy. be a bit of a long day. There's this red and white one here. She's quite feisty and she's got a calf so she's even more feisty. And then there's the one with a bad foot with a bit of white on her face. She's got a calf. Um, we were trying to give her some animation last week, didn't manage. Anyway, she's also a bit feisty and uh, yeah, it's making things a bit hard, a bit tricky. Yeah, what's her number? Her number is 073. One done. It's a theory of how we do it. Time for another one. Nice and clean as well. I love it, calf. As usual, the uh, team here are running like a well oiled machine. Honestly, it provides me hours of entertainment this does. <laughs> I should say, when you want to make sure that both balls are in the ring and that both nipples are outside the ring. That's what Rosie's checking for. She does the, puts the balls in first. Normally four wee nipples, so you can just feel to make sure you've not caught them in the ring. Because that can kill them if you get the nipples stuck in the ring. Why do they die if they have the nipples stuck in the ring? Well, it's bad for them. It's, it, I don't know if it will actually kill them, but the nipple, if you get it infected, it's, it's dangerous. Yeah. Uh, Dad told me when I started lambing, he said, if you get the nipples, they'll die. So. Well, I'll make sure you don't do it. <laughs> yeah, just to make sure Rosie didn't actually get the nipples in. Anyway, a lovely wee calf. We need the cool. This cow needs retagging. She's lost the tag, so. And it was her calf that we just did. So, brought her in. me hours of entertainment this does. Enjoy tagging gaffies. I think they're all stots. Happy day. 
Jeez. That's all the calves tagged. Is that the mole calf? Tagged. tagged, I believe so, yeah, Rose? Yeah. So we're trying to get that one in where the calf is tagged. The bad foot? Uh, 438. Yeah. Is that the one with the bad foot? No, it's the one with the fringe. Uh, okay, oh, the black one, right, yeah. Uh, there we go, that's fine. It's just, you know when your hair gets stuck to your... I joke, that's never happened to me, but it looks sore. What was that, Rose? Well, Dangleberries? <laughs> So yeah, that's all the cavies tagged. Um, we just need to now re-tag a few of the calves and if we can get this girl with a bad foot, give her a jag of alamycin, then that'll be us. Oh, and then we're taking off the heifers and leaving them here, the heifers. Happy days, straight into the crush. I don't know if they all worked as well as that one. We'd be laughing. This one here with the white marking, the brown cow with the white marking is the one with the bad foot. She's being a bit stubborn, doesn't want to come in. <laughs> and obviously we have a difference of opinion here. Check we've got two tags. So we're keeping those three in there because they're the heifers that haven't yet calved and earlier this week unfortunately we had a heifer that did calf and it also prolapsed um, and it was a bit of a mess so we had to put her down unfortunately. So we're keeping these heifers here just so that we can keep a closer eye on them uh, basically not miss when they're calving and hopefully prevent another um, prolapse from happening and yeah just keep an eye on them as they're the first time mums. I know you can't always stop the prolapse from happening but at least if we're on hand we can maybe help with the calving a little bit, possibly. So anyway, that's why they're here. We'll keep them in the steading. But the rest of these ones can go out. And I'll go back in the woods. What can I say? Cows, eh? Grass is always greener on the other side, which it is. I mean, look at the difference. <laughs> anyway, we're putting them back now, um, just back into the woods, so we'll give them a bail.
one at the back there is the one that we want to give her a wee jag for her foot, but we just can't get her into the crush, so we'll have to take her over to the crush at the other side of the farm. Hey! <laughs> Hey! Right, that's us. That's us finished. Uh, just tagging those cappies. <laughs> yeah, they're all looking good, all looking healthy. They, they never look good coming out of the winter. Um, they need to get onto the grass, but we don't have enough grass yet to put them onto the grass, because if we put them onto the grass, they'll stop eating their hay. So we need to yeah, make sure we've got yeah. plenty of grass to keep them going for when we put them onto the grass. But yeah, grass, that's us taking the three heifers that are yet to calve off just so we have them close by because I don't know if we mentioned but we had a heifer go down I mentioned and collapse yeah. so that's why I'm taking the heifers off just so we can have them closer they have such a huge area to calve in so it can be quite hard um, to keep an eye on everyone oh <laughs> sorry about the background noise If you're in health and safety, you know, just just look away now. You gotta enjoy it where you can, you know. <laughs> Sorry, I feel like our outros aren't are never very good. Um, <laughs> but that is us done. Um, I'd say we didn't we haven't counted the numbers yet because Doug's got more written down on the notepad, but roughly maybe 12 gaffies? I mean we literally had about 10 born. 10 or so, because we had like one day there was four cafes, next day there was three, then two, or something like that. Brought them in um, last Saturday, and there was only three, I think, four calves. Obviously, you can see how many there are now. We bring them in again this week. This is Monday now, um, and yeah, a week on, about 10 cafes or so. But anyway, that's us for the video. We're just gonna give these girls inside here a bit of hay. I can't do this one-handed. We'll give these girls in here some hay and some cobs and that'll be us. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah, sorry, it's such a mess in here, but that's one of our goals, isn't it? To yeah, to get this sorted out in here. Because we've not been able to muck it out since we got rid of our forge, which was like 20 years ago. Yeah, because the tiny entrance, you see, it's very... And then, or you do it by hand, but that's a lot of work. Yeah. And we're lazy. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.